watching on. I hope you like it. And I, and I got some blue fluffy feathers. Let me show you the blue fluffy feathers. <laughs> Hold them up so they can see. <laughs> Welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. Aubrey just got done at gymnastics tonight. And then we went and did a spontaneous Dollar Tree um, little shopping spree. Not spontaneous. I was kind of planning on going there to get one thing in particular. And we walked away with a bunch more because I've been meaning to make some like sensory boxes. And they had some Christmas stuff out already. It's not even Halloween yet. But I picked some stuff up since it was there and I kind of had all the ideas. So let's go ahead and show you guys what we got. Papa, they hold you open. Okay, so to start, the whole reason why we actually went there were for these dried fruits. So we got a bunch of apple slices and then um, some freeze dried strawberries as well. I really like the apple slices because we bring them to church and they are a quiet snack for the kids to munch on to keep them quiet. And they don't give off like a really strong scent, so it's not gonna like bother people around us. I'd like to get to the point where our kids don't need food to entertain them during mass, but for now, that's just what's working for us. So I picked up, let's see, like, oh man, like 11 or 12 of the apples and then three or four of the strawberries. Aubrey actually got to pick one thing, which she kind of already showed you, but Aubrey, why don't you go show them again? What did you get? Well, I just got to pick one thing. This is how much one is, but it's so cute. This is called a boa. Boa. So while you know I was driving there, knowing that we're gonna get these apple slices, I wanted to, I've already picked up stuff for like a fall sensory bin, but I wanted to make like a Halloween one, which we will be doing in an upcoming video. But I got just, they, they had such a small selection. So it was really hard to find something that I would feel like would be an adequate sensory box. But let me show you what I got and kind of what I plan on doing. Black so, beans. yes, we got some black beans, which I figured, you know, they fit like a black, they fit the Halloween colors. We got some little skulls, little foam skulls. And we got some little erasers. Yeah, so these had, they had these cute erasers, so I figured they'll just be like things to play with. I liked how they had like the little jack-o-lantern and the bat and the owl. The colors may not totally go with the vibe here, but it really doesn't matter. The kids are going to love it. So I think eventually these googly eyes will probably be mixed in with the black beans and then we might make like an orange play-doh or orange colored rice. I'm still not sure. Probably play-doh since it would not mix up with the uh, beans. Then we got some of these little pumpkins just for decoration. Some of these little mummy tin pails for them to like scoop the beans in and I don't know, play however they desire. But they kind of figure all this will be mixed in. And then I'm gonna look through like my rubber stamps and any like cookie cutters that I might have that are more Halloween like pumpkin kind of themed and toss those in because then if we have Play-Doh, they can roll it out and stamp in the Play-Doh and things like that. So like I said, it was kind of slim pickings on the Halloween stuff since it's so close and since they already have the Christmas stuff out. But since they already had the Christmas stuff, I picked up stuff for a sensory bin for that. So let's go ahead and walk through what I got here. So this is the one thing that probably won't be the sensory kit, but it just kind of looked like a fun activity for Aubrey to do. So I picked this up, which she's already super eager <laughs> to open. So she already ripped that open. But they had um, a couple other varieties of this. It's a you know DIY 3D craft. And it just looks like you take the different pieces and you put them into this baseboard and it will be standing up. So I got like just like a house in the, you know, woods. And then I liked the little manger one. So I picked up this one, but they had, I think, a snowman one. Um, but it just looked like a really cute thing, especially for a sensory box because they can build it and have it in the kit. 
they had some of this faux snow. So I figured this would be the main, like, you know, kind of sensory thing to play with. Hopefully it won't get everywhere. And then it might be fun to kind of mix the pom-poms in with the fake snow. And if we do something else, it'll probably be like a Play-Doh or beans or something that will be easily separated from this material. And then to go in the material, I couldn't resist by picking up all these trees. We can also use these, you know, not just in the sensory kit, but like around the house. I got some little snowflakes and some little snowmen. They had a lot to choose from though. So then the last couple things that I got, uh, they had, I noticed that they had this raised ink pen. It's like a puffy gel pen, which we'll go ahead and open up and give a try now because I'm really curious to see how puffy it actually is. So let's go ahead and open this up and see how this works. All right, they had other colors. Uh, they had like purple and green, but I like blue, so let's go ahead and scribble this on my little scratch paper here. Okay, so initially it was a little hard to come out. It's very wet and I don't know if it'll actually be raised. You kind of have to like push down a lot for the ink to come out. So let's go ahead and wait for this to dry and I'll, you know, rub my finger over it and see if it's actually puffy. Okay, obviously it's not very puffy. <laughs> Um, it looks like it's wet, but, you know, it's not smudging. I mean, there's, you can't really, I can't really say I was expecting much. I think I just got my hopes up, but it does look nice and it's a nice thick pen. It, you can kind of feel a little bit of a bump, but nothing too impressive. And then I picked up two canvases. Uh, one of the workers at Starbucks Aubrey drew him a picture on his first day and he was like, oh, this is like, you know, a good sign. And we just really hit it off. You know, he updates me on his life and he's leaving soon. He gave her a birthday present. It was so sweet. So I want Aubrey to go ahead and like paint him a picture uh, as like a goodbye present, uh, but just something, you know, for him. And then on the black canvas that I got, I wanna do like a spackling art project, but for Halloween and just like make a bunch of little ghosts on here. I saw it on TikTok and I just thought it might be cute. So we might just make one big ghost or a bunch of little ghosts I think would probably be cuter. So that'll probably be in an upcoming video as well. But that is our little Dollar Tree haul. I. Uh, it came out to like 40 something dollars, but in my mind, as I was like pouring all this stuff on the conveyor belt, I was just like, oh gosh, this is gonna be so expensive. And I was happily surprised it was only $48 or whatever it came out to be. But again, thank you guys for watching. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this little haul, maybe got some ideas or at least are excited to see what we do in the upcoming weeks for these sensory boxes. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, 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 bye-bye. I love you. I hope you come back on a day to our weary house. Bye! Mm. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.